Hello, Mother Mage here, and welcome back to Gangs of Space. We have completed both trees. Now, I'm going to be buying the max level um, support. There's a bit more armor, but well, I have a lot more structure. Same energy as the others, a bit lower top speed actually, a bit lower speed. Faster backward speed, it's 95% backward speed, and a way faster rotation. It has same cargo and same crew boo amount. So, let's just get it. It's 10,000. Might as well invest in it. Now, let's undock. I've wanted to produce this video for a while now, but I haven't had time. So, I wanted to talk about a few things. I haven't unlocked that many new things, so actually I haven't unlocked nearly nothing. Just engine upgrade and uh, energy boost upgrade. Now, once we discover, well, once we're able to choose our repairability, I wanted to get the linking ability before then as well, but I decided not to because it would have taken a bit too long. Because I need to get a ton of stuff before I can get that. Ooh, this is better than what I currently got. It's a unicorn, anyways. Who doesn't like unicorns? Well, people who don't like unicorns, obviously. Actually, I can do level 4 here, straight away. One thing I would suggest is uh, never go directly after, like, end game. Once you reach level 10, you start getting level 11 gear, just continue farming it, because when you start needing to do level 12 stuff, you're going to die. Like I did. I underestimated it, and I died with a fully geared level 10 support. Granted, I would be able to do it if I had the sniper that they're thinking of adding. And uh, I don't know if I've talked about this, but they are planning on adding a sniper and a tank class next. Don't know when that's going to be, but they're definitely looking forward to that, because I'm usually a sniper. I'd like to play long range, not short range. And uh, another thing is, when you're playing a sport, I would suggest building the debuff weapons. Mainly focusing on debuff weapons because debuff weapons do a decent amount of damage and they reduce the speed the enemy is travel at. So you're making it easier for you to hit them and your allies to hit them. So anybody helping you will definitely thank you for that, even if it's subconsciously. And in any case, it's, it's the most easiest way of just killing things. When you're playing a fighter class, I would suggest going for the crits, because if you build a full crit fighter, they're deadly. You could literally take out hundreds of crit, no, hundreds of spaceships in a short amount of time, mainly because you're just obliterating them. You're doing like, I think it was about 2,000 at most I could reach per hit, and that was almost repeatedly. It was like easy to hit. It's about a 35% chance to crit. I actually had it up to 3,000 I believe. And that's a 35% chance to get 3,500 damage. Which is a bit crazy. I don't know if I want the more shield or... Yeah, let's grab the more shield because more shield should help me survive a little bit more. Now. We need to reach level 1. Hopefully we get the upgrade for the, uh, what's it called, the shield then. And I can show you, because I'm going to have to go through a couple of level ups. Just in order to show you guys uh, how you can build your ship to the best of your abilities. It's basically like a tutorial, almost. The roguelike part takes place in the abilities and the gear, so... The way I see it is... 
this gear, this piece of gear is exceptionally good, but you won't naturally know if it's good. The entire thing is you need to try and decide for yourself if you want the buff or the explosion and all those things. But there's another way of uh, doing this because uh, your abilities, there's another thing that is randomized. Your abilities are all randomized. What type of uh, extra buffs you get from them or if they don't have extra buffs they usually have uh, quite ridiculous buffs on what is currently there so I've had a repair or I've seen a repair that has a cooldown of 2.3 seconds that's a basic repair for a sport that also on top of that has a 43% efficiency on the repair so it means 43% more or 43% efficiency means they are well, efficient. It's more efficient than a 32. So instead of having 100% efficiency, means it's one to one ratio basically. It's going to use a bit more energy than you would want it to use, but it's going to use a lot less than it could. It's not going to use double energy per armor piece that it's going to repair. I'm playing this a bit riskily, just so I can level up a bit faster. But of course, it paid off. Okay, so this is a 20 second cooldown with a 280 meter radius. The 280 meter radius is locked. So, this is not a good spell because only 48% efficiency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab something else, like say just resistance, and continue on. I forgot to click va validate. Verify. Should have said verify or confirm. Something along those lines. That would have been more classical. But in any case, that was 38. I should have. Oh, I should have wrote it down, but it's, I can remember what it was. I okay, guess so now we need to level up to level 3. Hopefully I get it then as well. It's all about when you get it. And how many times you think you're going to be able to get a shield buff. Like a shield upgrade. Because granted, you can do a sport without a shield upgrade if you just don't choose it. But you want to choose it at one or other point. So I should rather go to a level 2 zone, because otherwise I'm not going to get better gear, but this, this gear will do. This gear will do. So it's a level 3. I mean, a le uh, level... yeah, a third, a third tier ship, so it should be able to handle this. Handle this with its second tier ship. I better be able to handle this with a third tier ship. Let's go to the greens. The greens would give me a bit less uh, experience, but they also give me a buff. Red means it gives you a debuff, green mean in green areas mean it gives you a buff. So it's going to give me a 5% energy regeneration per second, which is quite nice. Could be better, but yeah, something at least. Could be a turn speed increase, which I have had, a rotation increase, which has helped me a lot, or a speed increase, oh I love it when you get a buff that gives you crazy amounts of speed, so that just makes it so much easier to avoid everything, so currently I have very little speed, but what speed I have, well I have less speed, not, not that much less, but what what speed I have is in all directions, instead of just in a forward direction. So I don't need to necessarily point in the direction I'm flying, which is always good, especially since I always point to my enemy. And I just took both those. I don't know why. Probably just wanted to. Okay, on the map, you can see there's a bunch of experience here. By the well, it's no longer there. Because I picked it up, but there's a bunch of green and brownish, like a grey brownish dots on the map. That is where the experience is that you have not collected. 
granted you can leave them and they will despawn so you better go collect them which is when uh, in higher level zones when they start swarming you and stuff like that it gets hard because then you have a ton of experience in the center but you can't reach it because there is enemies there so you're gonna have to fly through them and that is usually where you die Uh, this guy apparently has debuff, which, as you can see, is slowing down that enemy ship to a pace where it is struggling to avoid our shots, which is exactly what I love about it. Though he is faster, since he's level 3. So then, let's destroy the ship. And uh, we're still a bit away from leveling. Almost there, though. Then we're level 3. Let's go over here to that guy. Go assist him a little bit. This game is all about keeping yourself alive by keeping other people alive. If you can keep someone else alive, your damage will be higher so you will be able to get more kills. It basically takes... as long as you deal a slight amount of damage, I believe a hit will do. As long as you're doing about like 10 damage to it, Target, you should be able to get experience as long as somebody else gets to kill. As long as you hit it and it dies, you get experience from it. So, you could actually get power leveled in this. And uh, gangs is definitely the way to go in this, but the entire problem is... Gangs don't really give all that much. I don't exactly know what gangs give. I assume that it shares experience. like. Between players helps you level up if you work together and stuff like that, but other than that, I don't know. I'm mainly speculating. That guy's already taken it, probably because he doesn't know, or maybe he got a good roll the first time around. But usually, for me, the first roll is a 20 second cooldown, which is not what I want. I want to be able to do as little cooldown for as much repair that would be the best so you want preferably like a 80 percent efficiency which i have seen i have had one of those before with a 17 percent cooldown or 17 second cooldown which is not very good but you would want a one with say a two percent cooldown because then you can just constantly heal people without any problems any foreseeable problems. This guy is healing me up, so he's being a good support. All I need to do is avoid taking too much damage because his healing is a bit on the slow side. Because he has a large cooldown. Okay, almost there. A few more ships. A few more ships. He's also got a. He's played a sport for a while now, because he's also a tier 3 sport, so he is actually good. And I did not get it. But as you can see, 20% structure, structure explosive resistance, and 29% shield. That is actually a really good support, like, survival um, buff. Now, this one is going to help me a little bit, because it's going to increase my amount of shield recharge energy and energy recharge but I'm thinking of grabbing this because this is going to help me survive and I need that right now or anything I need to be able to survive otherwise I will not be able to s do anything not be able to continue leveling because I can't survive in the area that I need to level in well if I can reach level 4 hopefully I get a shield down and hopefully it doesn't turn out too long. If it is getting a bit crazy with the leveling, I might skip it for a little bit. Just cut out a bit, just to get to the point where I can show you guys what happens. What type of crazy things you can get. Granted, I'm not going to be able to level this ship for very long. I don't have a long amount of time today. And also no videos to upload, so I need this. But I figured I might as well just show you guys what you can get. 
And that is going to be live play. Almost there, and uh, we're one third way through. Need more experience. I can go to a level 5 zone, which it would kill me. It would kill me. Trust me. That would be a bad idea. Come on. If I can reach level 4, then I can get my debuff weapon up, and that that will be crazy. The entire thing is, most people choose heal as early as they can get it, because the earlier you choose it, the easier it will be to level. But, it's not always the best choice, because the earlier you take it, the worse it actually is, most of the time. Most of the time. Not all the time, most of the time. Because sometimes you get a really good one first time around. Like last time I got that. 73% efficiency with a 2.3 second cooldown. Which would really be helpful. Now let's quickly grab all this experience because I do not I'm not a fan of leaving experience around. Yeah, I'm gonna probably get cut around here. Cut until I get a good like upgrade again. So, see you guys then. Hello and welcome back to well back to this video. In any case, uh, as you can see here, this one has a this is the same ability, structure wave, same range, because that's lock. Bit worse um, um, energy conversion, so it's 40% efficient. It's not very efficient. The previous one was 48. This one, though, has 15 second cooldown. So it's got a really good cooldown. So I'm probably going to grab it. Yeah, sure. And I guess that's it. I am all out of time for today. See you guys next one. And goodbye.